Hey guys, welcome to We Got a Podcast. I'm Liam. I'm Liz. And we talk about values, vibes, and. Velociraptors. Occasionally. <laughs> is it Velociraptor or Velessa? Velociraptors. Velociraptor. Is, is, is Velociraptor? A dinosaur. No, Velociraptor. Hey, our topic for today is consideration. So, Ooh. Liz, Ooh. What, is, what is consideration to you? That's what is, a great what does it question. Look like? What does it look like? I feel like it's always when you're thinking about others, right? Because you're considering others. Does that sum it up well? That, that, what do you think consideration is? That is an amazing summary. Well, I feel like I need to kind of demonstrate. Uh, for If you're new to the podcast, um, it, was Lid's, it was Lid's birthday um, <laughs> yeah, it a, was. Couple, a couple of days ago. Woo-hoo! And so when I, when I realized we were talking about consideration, I was like, what better way to show consideration than to get Lid's something so let's you gotta you gotta close your eyes okay i'm closing my eyes, close your eyes. how long do i keep them closed uh, until for? i until i say open did you get me a birthday present i got you something way better wow than a birthday present i have no idea what right. this is keep closing your eyes my eyes are still closed i'm gonna start singing happy birthday okay. to you okay you ready yes happy birthday to you Woo. happy birthday to you me happy birthday dear lydia yeah. open <gasps> Happy birthday oh. to you. Thank you so much. I've always wanted a hot crust bun cake. You're, you're so welcome. Do I blow it out? You probably should just in case the fire alarm okay, goes yes, off. Okay, yes, good plan. Um, second. Yay! Oh, it's very smoky. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> so, in consideration. Oh, um, thank you, Liam. How do you show someone consideration? Well, I feel like you just considered, like, me just then. Yeah. It was very thoughtful of you to give me a hot crust bun cake and candle. Yeah. How nice. Yeah, that's awesome. That I feel like consideration. Well, Lids actually gave me so many birthday presents back in the day when I turned a year older than I was. I can't quite remember. I'm just gonna put this down. Okay. You're not gonna you're not gonna eat it? Do you want some? Oh no, no, it's fine. I'll save it for later, but thank you. I just thought you might consider my feelings. I put a lot of effort, a full ah. thirty seconds into thank you. planning this. I really appreciate it. It's great. That's awesome. Hey, Liz, um, talking about consideration, yes. I was just wondering, what are some of your X? X. Okay, so things that, like, I'm like, ooh, I feel a bit icky about that. Yeah, well, okay. yeah, things that might tick you off almost. All right. Um, number one, when people are on their phone, when they're, like, with other people and talking with other people. So what are you doing? That, that's, um, there's alarm bells going off right now. You're on your phone and you're talking with me. I've got notes on here, but I'll put that I'm down joking, right I'm joking, I'm joking. It's fine. Different context. But like, you know when you're talking with someone? Yeah. And yep. then they're just like scrolling on their phone. Yeah. They're not even listening and it's, that's an ex. Total out of it. What about for you? What are your ex? Look, i got to say, one of my ex is when you go to the bathroom and you go to grab a piece of toilet paper <gasps> and there's either nothing left or there's one mm. singular piece of toilet paper on. Oh. That is an ick for me. That's just like, yeah. Argh, like, yeah. come on, show some consideration, people. Exactly. Like, yes. I'm just like, that is out of it. <clears throat> Put yeah. the toilet paper on the correct place. Yeah. I feel like in th- when that happens, it's an awesome opportunity, though, to consider others' needs because you've just missed out on the toilet paper. Sure. So you can replace it for the next person so thinking true. of them and considering their needs because they'll need some toilet paper. So, yeah. So true, so true. Do you have any other icks or just the one? Um, loud eaters. Oh, that's, yeah. that's me. I just feel like... And I, I have to take... I've definitely done this in my life multiple times. I used to get called a concrete mixer because I would talk with my mouth full. <laughs> but I don't like it. I don't do it... Well, I probably do sometimes, but I try not to. And when other people do it, I'm like, oh, I can hear everything that's going through your mouth right now. Wow. <sighs> yeah. Hey, thanks for sharing. I will Thank now. Sharing. I will now be aware at the lunch table not to... Um, <laughs> that wasn't eat, directed at anyone so in particular. I, I feel like, yeah... I'm so sorry for being. No, don't worry. Have you been told that you're allowed to eat it? I've never told I ha- you. I have. have I well, you? I've I've been told that I should chew with my mouth closed. Okay. Yes. Which is probably just generic okay. <laughs> consideration. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Oxford defines consideration as careful thought, typically over a period of time. Oh. What do you think about that? Careful thought. Careful thought. I think that's really a good way to put it. Good way. Because it means it. that you're being intentional mm. about thinking about others. Like it's not just oh yeah. I'm thinking of you, but I'm actually being intentional. I'm carefully thinking about how would this affect you? Or That's great. is that going to be bad for you if I do this for me? Like, you know? That's great. For, for all like those that. people who have felt the experience of 
go and grab a piece of toilet paper and there's only one left, mm. you guys can be the ones to think forward and put heaps of toilet paper there so no one has any excuse not to change Imagine the if, like, from roll. now on, we just always take a toilet roll with us and we just leave it there every time we go to the toilet. So there's, like, a massive pile of toilet rolls just in the toilet. Imagine, so no one ever misses out. Imagine a world imagine. where no one ever had to worry about running out of toilet paper. That would be an amazing world. That would be amazing. We could create that world. We could start a trend. Hey, fun fact about consideration. <laughs> Hit me, go. Did you know that if you put yourself in someone else's shoes, that what that's what it means to show consideration? For a second I was thinking you were meaning like literally? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Take off your shoes. My shoes oh. Let's go. Wow, okay. I will find out what Lids is like by putting myself I'll put one of your in shoes, shoes. On. Here we go. Crocs are super comfortable. I'm a big fan of Crocs. I feel like... I feel like you put it on the wrong foot. I feel like this feels uncomfortable. That's a left foot. You put it on your right foot. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yes. Thank you. Um, yes, I feel like you can tell a lot about... Oh, I've still got it on. Okay, other people's shoes. Yeah, I feel like I know you a bit a bit more now, like Lids. Now like, that you've got my shoe now on? Now that I've got your shoe on, I okay. feel like... Yeah. That's cool. Consideration. Do you have, have any facts about, I do. about consideration? Okay. This is actually really cool. We'll swap shoes back. There we go. Thanks. I love my Crocs. Um, so, you know when, like, things feel unfair? Yes. Um, so, actually, fun fact. Animals also feel things of unfairness. Really? So, there was some research done when two monkeys, they performed a task, and they were, they were rewarded with a piece of cucumber um, every time they did this thing. But then the reward changes, and one of the monkeys received a grape instead of... Um, a piece of cucumber, which is like no. a much sweeter tree, right? And when the monkey that was still receiving the cucumber discovers the, um, that they were like robbed of getting a grape, they actually discovered this sort of unfairness and threw the cucumber at the scientist who was doing this experiment. Because <laughs> <laughs> they felt it was unfair. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. Just had a fat tantrum, just, no! Nah! Yeah. That's not right. That's crazy. So if monkeys know all about cons- unfairness, unfairness what then like well, we definitely know what, yeah. what it's like. We feel way more than animals. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's a crazy fact. <clears throat> I had no idea that monkeys could feel. I also learnt, let me find this. Okay, there's evidence that shows that helping people or considering others can also benefit our own mental health and well-being. For example, it can reduce stress as well as improve mood, self-esteem and happiness. So when we consider others' needs, we're actually, it's scientifically proven to help us too, which is really cool. That is yeah. awesome. Quick story on that, eh? A real, a real moment um, when I felt like I was being treated unfairly is when my mum actually broke her toe. Like, like she stubbed her toe on, on, a, on a couch. And I remember being like real young, maybe like eight, 18. I mean, 18, <laughs> not 18, that's not young. Eight, eight to 10 <laughs> is what I meant to say. And um, I remember... My dad asked me to do the dishes because mm-hmm. my mum was out of action, right? And yeah. I remember being like, I'm so annoyed right now. Why do mm. I have to do the dishes? Yeah. It's my mum's turn to do the dishes. When she'd stubbed the toe, and like, when I think about it, when I think about it now, I'm like, my mum does so much for me. Like, mm. she cooks food. She, like, she does washing, and she did so much for me as a kid. And, I, and here I was being yeah. ungrateful, thinking that <clears throat> I had it unfair yeah. because I had to do yeah. the dishes. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I should have just put myself in my mum's shoes. I mean, like, hey, yeah. how would how would I want to be treated? Consider her needs. Yeah, consider yeah. her needs. How how would I want to be treated? And maybe that's yeah. something you guys take on. How do you guys want to be treated yeah. if you're in the other person's shoes? Yeah, that's great. So when we miss out, when we think things are unfair, actually, if we take a step back, take a second just to think, actually, let's consider the other person's needs right now. Maybe they need some extra help. Maybe they need a new this or that or whatever. Um, that's a really cool way to, to look at life, I think. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Hey, it's been awesome hanging out with you guys. This is We Got a Podcast. I'm Liam. I'm still Lids. <laughs> and we've been talking about values, vibes, and... And velociraptors. We haven't really talked Not about really, velociraptors. Not really, but we just put the V word in there because it sounded cool. Yeah, yeah, it does. Anyway, we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Woo! See ya. See ya.